so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i connect my camera directly into my computer i'm going to show you guys all the things that i use inside this video to make this possible so one of the most important thing that you're going to use for this process is a capture card now you can use any capture card of your choice but this one i'm using right here is a near stream capture card it's very fast very reliable and it works really well for me i'm gonna also put a link in the description of this right here you can actually use and also you need your camera which i guess you already have so what i'm doing right now i'm connecting my hdmi cable from my camera straight into this capture card right here now you guys maybe ask why do i do not just connect my hdmi cable right here directly into my computer well it does not work that way because the hdmi port on the computer right here is an out port meaning it can send signal out so whether you're displaying something on a monitor it will send out now this capture card right here takes in hdmi signal and come out right here to this capture card to a usb type c port whether it be usb type c or usb type a gonna send signal directly into my computer right there and now for the software that i'm using i'm using an OBS software as well i'm gonna put a link in the description of this software that you guys can download actually free of choice it's free you don't have to pay anything just download and install it whether you're using your windows computer or you're using a mac computer now i'm going to show you guys how we set up that just in a bit all right guys so i'm assuming that now you have downloaded your obs software and have everything set up now i'm going to show you guys the software feature of this right here how it actually works so what you need to do is to pull up your obs software and you will see this panel right here you will see the scene source audio the scene transition and control panel over here now where you see right here we have a plus icon you're going to click on the plus icon right here now you want to search your video capture device so you're going to click right on here where it says video capture device then you're going to add it then you can give it a name you can put like any name camera in your here choose now you want to choose your device you're going to click on a menu right here and you're going to choose which device you're streaming from now for me i'm using the near stream capture card so i'm going to click on that also you can see right here that it comes up straight onto my computer right there you can choose your resolution i'm gonna click mine and i you can use buffering but i'm not gonna click on that so i'm just click it as default and now you can see right now i have my display right onto my computer right there just to stream also you can set up your audio as well so on audio right there you can see these gains that the audio is basically transmitted into this right here and now i can record now over to this, this section right here i can stream so let's say if i want to stream like to my youtube channel or any source you can you can stream to that once you set them up right way but that's for another video i'm going to show you guys how to record right now so you can click on record and you can see right here i'm recording directly into my computer so my audio and everything is being recorded onto this right here so the process is very simple very straightforward and yeah that's how we actually do it now this file right here you're gonna save directly into your computer so you can record and so forth even if you're not recording on your camera you can record directly onto your computer so you're gonna take in all the signal the mic and all those things directly into your computer all right guys so this is footage right here which i have been captured in my obs software and my computer right here you can see that the footage look a bit different i mean there's a lot more bokeh in this right here and the color is a bit different as well but the audio is somehow unusable as you can see right here i have muted because i have a bit of redundancy in audio i think there was audio coming inside the computer and audio from the mic as well so it didn't really sound that well now for the best settings you might have to use or connect your audio source directly into the software into your capture card for it to work effectively but this is just the quality right here which comes out of it i mean you don't necessarily have to use this on your computer to record but you can use it as a monitor to see exactly what is being going on onto your computer so you have that great sense of display but for me i'm really not going to use this to record my videos if i'm doing an install video like this unless i'm doing a streaming for my games and so forth but otherwise from that i'm not going to record on this right here 
to be quite frank but if i'm doing streaming gaming it will work quite fine so guys this is it and i hope you guys find this video very helpful remember to subscribe to this channel for more tips like this and see you guys in my next video peace out and before i go if you have any question let me know in the comment section if you find this video helpful or anything that you need to know as always peace out